In the meantime, a lawsuit over a ruptured breast implant began today in San Diego Superior Court downtown. A lawsuit involving the wife of a former San Diego mayor. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live at the Hall of Justice. And Steve, Cindy Hedgecock admitted to being uncomfortable on the witness stand. She said she was embarrassed to have to testify, but she wanted the city to understand her pain and also uh, live up to the problems, the consequences of not fixing that sidewalk. Cindy Hedgecock testified that she tripped on a damaged sidewalk two years ago in Pacific Beach. I remember falling, knowing I was going to fall, putting my hands out to protect me, and I remember holding my head up. Her lawsuit claims a breast implant ruptured in the fall. But primarily, you hit your chest. Yes, that was the point of impact. Her attorney prepared an animation for the jury. Ms. Hedgecock, in this animation, is walking along. Catches a toe, falls forward, slap. She didn't think she'd hurt herself that severely and continued on to an appointment. Scraped my knees, but they weren't torn. And so I figured I was okay to go, and I hurried. Her husband, former San Diego Mayor Roger Hedgecock, said she shared news about that accident later that day. She said her chest hurt. Mrs. Hedgecock told of pain and a leak near some scar tissue that she needed surgery to replace the implants, costing almost $20,000, suing the city for damages because the sidewalk had not been repaired. The city attorney questioned the validity of the claim, pointing to another fall in 2012 in Hawaii that wasn't addressed, and asking why she waited weeks to tell a doctor about this one. Roger Hedgecock said she developed anxiety as time passed. This silicone had escaped into her chest cavity, and there's, you know, she was very concerned about that. City attorney also argued that the implants were 20 years old and due for replacement anyway. The final argument is expected tomorrow morning. After that, the jury would then begin deliberations. Live downtown, Steve Fearman, 10 News.